Apple just released iOS 16.6 beta 2 to register developers and soon to public beta testers. And along with this update, Apple also released beta 2 for iPad OS 16.6, Mac OS 13.5, Watch OS 9.6, TV OS 16.6, and HomePod OS 16.6. But of course, in this video, we're talking all about iOS. So you can see here, the size of the second beta came in just over 400 megabytes, so a pretty small update size and if we head over to our settings and go to general about 16.6 we can see that the new build number is 20g 5037d and we do have a d at the end of the build number which indicates we're getting close to a final release but we most likely still have at least one more beta to go and if we go ahead down here to the modem firmware you can see we got a big jump when we went from 16.5 to 16.6 beta 1 but there is no change going from 16.6 beta 1 to beta 2 it remains at 1.80.00 on the 14 series all right so now what's new here in ios 16.6 beta 2 and the first thing is pretty much the only change we found in beta 1 was that reference to imessage contact key verification and that has subsequently been removed here in beta 2. So it's likely that Apple didn't really want that getting out. It kind of slipped through the cracks. So now that has been removed. So if you search for contact key, you will see that it is no longer there in settings. Whereas before there was a little section in here called contact key verification, but when he tapped on it, it didn't lead anywhere. It just was in the search results. So that slipped through the cracks and it looks like Apple has patched that. Although I still would expect to see this feature come in the final release of iOS 16.6. Looks like Apple's just not ready yet for the beta testing. They're probably just doing more internal testing on this feature right now. And as I've mentioned before, this feature is not going to be very useful for 99% of people watching this. It's mainly just for those who are like working for government, journalists, and just other people who are prone to malicious digital attacks. It's going to make sure that you are not being eavesdropped on and that you're really contacting and talking to the person you think you are. Now, something that was pretty interesting about beta one is that there were no release notes. So it took Apple a while to release the release notes for beta one. But when they finally came out, it just said nothing has changed pretty much. But now with beta two, we do have two little known issues here for the release notes. Neither of them are very major, but I still want to read them off because they are something new. So first off, we have a known issue with the home application and it says pairing a first matter accessory in a new Apple home will fail when paired by selecting an accessory from the nearby accessories list. Now there is a workaround right there as well. You just have to scan the QR code. And then also we have another known issue in Xcode. But once again, there is also a workaround for that as well. So no new features, no resolved bugs or anything, just two new known issues here in 16.6 beta 2. Further reiterating what I said in my beta one video, that 16.6 is going to be a very minor update all around. And of course, one of the first things I check when I update to these new software versions is if we have any sign of the screen recording via Siri feature, since that just mysteriously disappeared after iOS 16.5 beta one. So if I try this record screen, you can see that we still cannot record our screen with Siri like we were able to in 16.5 beta one. So it looks like Apple may be holding that off until iOS 17, or maybe just that was never meant to be a feature in the first place. It's kind of a mystery at this point because Apple hasn't really said anything about that. Now, also, I do want to mention the notification center bug. You can see we still do have that lag there. That's really glitchy and that's been going on for quite a while now, and it is still not fixed here in the second beta of iOS 16.6 and then the last thing I always check for is the select all in Safari and once again I'm not expecting this to ever return but you can see it is still not there in Safari so yeah the contact key verification feature will most likely be the only major feature in iOS 16.6 I wouldn't really expect any other notable features just possibly a couple more small changes and some bug fixes and security enhancements but I would not expect any other major changes now yesterday I do also want to mention this Apple dropped watchOS 9.5.1 out of nowhere just completely random and we thought that this could 
you know, fix the bug where a lot of users had green, greenish gray tint on their Apple Watch, but this update did not patch that. So it also did not contain any type of security enhancements. So I guess it just contained some undisclosed bug fixes. Really nobody has found out what has been included in this watchOS 9.5.1 update, but that was the only thing Apple released yesterday. So we do not have a iOS 16.5.1 at this time. But anyways, going back to iOS 16.6 beta 2, I am going to run a quick Geekbench test to see how this compares to the first beta and also iOS 16.5. But with iOS 16.6 beta 1, we got slightly higher scores than 16. .5, which is a good sign and so far 16.6 has been pretty flawless in terms of overall performance and bugs I really haven't had any type of bugs besides the notification center which has been there for quite a while now so we scored a 25 16 on the single core and a 62 69 on the multi core pretty similar to the scores we got in beta 1 and just slightly higher than what we saw with the 16.5 betas in the final release so I wouldn't expect a major jump in performance but if you were having any type of bugs or slowdowns those could be resolved with 16.6 as a whole not just beta 2 and then in terms of battery life i've been using the first beta on my main device and i will say that battery life is pretty much identical to 16.5 for me on my 14 Pro and same with my 14 Pro Max, although I don't use this phone as often. And then finally, let's talk about what to expect next from Apple. So first off, iOS 16.6 beta three, I would not expect to see that next week. Next week is going to be full of all of the new software updates like iOS 17, watchOS 10, you know, Mac OS 14, all of those big new versions will be unveiled next week on June 5th which is WWDC, and I will be streaming live here on YouTube, going over all the new software. Of course, I will have a ton of new videos next week as well, covering all of the new features and changes. So yeah, I would not expect to see 16.6 beta three next week. I think we will see that the following week on the week of June 12th. But as I always say, Apple is Apple and they like to throw curveballs. So really we could see that at any point. And I think that 16.6 beta three really has a kind of impact on when we see 16.6, the final release, because the build number kind of will judge if we are going to see an RC the following week or not. So what I mean by that is 16.6 beta to three if we have like an a or b at the end of the build number then we could see an rc pretty much the next week and then a final the week after that so if that's the case then we might see 16.6 the final release at the end of june but if beta 3 does not have an a or b at the end of the build number then we're most likely going to see 16.6 at some point in early july most likely like the first or second week so we'll kind of have to play it by ear and of course i will keep you guys updated in these videos and also over on twitter so if you're not following me on twitter make sure you are because i do share updates over there as well and like i mentioned last week you have to keep in mind that 16.6 is most likely going to be the final ios 16 version to get beta releases we'll likely see a 16.7 but last year, Apple dropped only the RC for that final release, like the 0.7 release. So we might see a 16.7 RC and then a final release. But after that, we're most likely just going to see, you know, double point updates with minor bug fixes and security enhancements all the way until we get iOS 17, the final release of iOS 17 down here at some point in September when Apple has their big fall event where they announce the new products like the new iPhone 15 and all of that. So that is iOS 16.6 beta 2 really not too much going on here but that is kind of expected at this point i did just want to make this video to keep you guys updated i was going to make a video yesterday on watch os 9.5.1 but there really wasn't much to talk about with that at all so i just wanted to mention it very briefly in this video but anyways be on the lookout because i will have some live streams coming up before the worldwide developers conference on june 5th so be on the lookout here on the channel for those and of course i will tweet about it over on twitter as well but if you guys enjoyed this video i would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up also make sure subscribe so you don't miss out on future ios 17 coverage but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon